So full speed, nice posture, little bit of a tilt. Ready? Go, launch. I like to give them a couple minutes to shoot and get it out of their system. They're gonna get up early, they get to have a little free time. Hi, I'm Jill Plandowski and I'm a power skating coach. I started coaching just as, just coaching figure skating, um, probably 12 or 13 if you can believe it. And as a competitive skater, I had brothers who played hockey and my dad was a coach. So even as a teenager, I was asked to do, come on and that was a long time ago, but I was asked to uh, help out <coughs> with the player skating. And I, it just kind of kept evolving. So I've kind of tailored my curriculum to make sure that I teach kids what I know is important to get them to the next level. Uh, the young players, there's probably a little bit more management, like look at me, eyes on me. Some of the young kids in the summer when they walk into the rink when I'm on with the older boys, the pros, they can't believe that they're doing the same drills that they work on. And I always tell them, skating, skating. The older guys, um, you know, when they get to me, they're very dialed in and they want instant feedback. So when they do a rep, they want instant feedback. So you have to be on the top of your game. I enjoy spending my winters with the younger players and uh, then switching gears in the summer to the older players. Jill lives the hockey lifestyle at home, with two sons currently playing high-level hockey, and her husband, who is the director of amateur scouting for the Arizona Coyotes. I think I have a bit of an advantage as a power skating coach being so immersed in hockey. I have uh, three critics. <laughs> if it's not gonna happen in the game, they'll let me know. I just think I've, I've had an advantage of getting to know the game so well, and especially from my husband's perspective, getting to know exactly what scouts are looking for. And so I've kind of tailored my curriculum to make sure that I teach kids what I know is important to get them to the next level. Jill's oldest son, Oscar, has seen his fair share of time on Eastlink Community TV's Friday Night Hockey broadcast. Oscar's been lucky. So, skating is not a natural movement. It's not. It's um, all day long you walk with your toes pointed straight and when you skate, that toes out to the side. So he he's always been a low skater, even from um, a young boy. Um, so skating came pretty easy to him and he's a pretty strong kid too. Another name you might have heard on Eastlink Community TV is Aaron Chip. And that one finds the back of the net. Well, there's the hat trick. Hat trick for Aaron Chip. <laughs> Aaron wasn't able to make it to media availability, but we caught up with his younger brother, Andy, who has been training with Jill. Well, I, I don't know, but I started doing these power skates like probably in like late December, I'd say, maybe start of January. Uh, I like how she does a lot of fun edge drills, like to help with their edges and do ball hops. And I really like that. You can't make anything a high level if you can't skate good. So you gotta have good skating if you want to make a high level. Jill was recently invited to present her work at the Global Skills Showcase. I'm really excited. It's been a pretty cool experience. It all kind of snuck up on me pretty quick around Christmas. Um, I applied and I, I was chosen to present. I did the, um, the video about a month ago. I did it in Moncton with a few of the Moncton players. And um, I think it looks pretty good. I, I chose a topic that I think is important. Um, I did some of the progressions to improve your outside edges, which I think are very important um, as far as skating goes. And uh, I think it's coming out beginning of March. So I'm excited for the video to drop. I haven't seen the finished product yet. So yeah, it should be fun.